Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Glorious Life on Wheels. I was out and about, and I witnessed an encounter that really had an impact on me. It just touched my heart, and it also made me ask a question. And you know, I'm always asking questions about the human condition and the human heart. So come on, I want to share with you that encounter and see if it touches you the way it did me. And I want to ask you that same question. So come on, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so let me share with you exactly what it was that I saw and what happened. I was sitting in a parking lot. Actually, I was editing videos. <laughs> and I happened to glance up and I saw a person, an individual, come out of a store. It's kind of like a Whole Foods store. And he had a bag in his hand. As he was entering the parking lot, another gentleman approached him. Now, the gentleman that approached him appeared that he might be a bit down on his luck and might even be homeless. And so as I saw him approach the gentleman come out of the store, I thought, hmm, I wonder what's going to happen here. So I, I just stopped for a minute what I was doing and just to watch this encounter. And they exchanged a few words. And the next thing I know, the man that came out of the grocery store reached into his bag and he handed the man who had approached him a little container of watermelon. You would have thought that he just gave this man the winning lottery ticket. This man who approached him was so happy. I mean, he was almost literally jumping for joy. And he, you could tell he was saying thank you over and over. And as the man who had exited the grocery store went on about his business and onto his car, the gentleman who appeared to be homeless walked off and he looked like he was almost jumping up and down. He was just so joyful. He was practically dancing. I wanted to ask him why he was so happy and joyful just for receiving a, such a small container of watermelon. And I also wanted to ask the guy who gave it to him what made him decide to do that. But I couldn't talk to both of them because they were going in different directions. So I decided to talk to the man who um, was given the watermelon. Still, as I'm looking at him going down the parking lot, he just seemed to be so lighthearted. And I wanted to ask him about that. So I did. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to share with you our conversation and what happened afterwards. Hello, do you mind me asking you what your name is? My name is Derek. Derek, I'm Carol, Derek. Hi, Carol. I just saw you go up to a gentleman and you approached him and then you spoke for a few minutes and then he left but he handed you something out of his bag his grocery bag yes. and when you walked away you were practically dancing you looked so happy what what was that encounter about i was seeing worship the lord and i think he heard my words me singing to the lord now you went up to the my, when yeah. you went up to the man what did you ask him i asked brother god um uh, uh, Brother Christ, is there any spare change to get help out or any um, happy thoughts, um, penny or less, or I use it for food? And he says, um, I'll give you my watermelon if that helps. I said, anything that will help, I'll be grateful. And you seem so happy and so grateful for that little container that you're holding there yeah. of watermelon. What did that mean to you when he gave that to you? And it's easy to eat. With certain foods that I can't eat, that I have no, hardly no taste to chew on certain foods. And it just touched my heart because I could feel the vibe if people are asking him something. So sometimes when you approach people, are they unkind to you? No, they're all always kind to me. Oh, they and, are. And, and I had no hard feelings with nobody. And they told me that, um, you know, Jesus, um, you know about Jesus? I said, yes, I do. I've been playing in a worship band since I was 13 years old. I'm 43 years old, and I played for a church for three years with my guitar instrument and wow. backup singing. Okay, well, Derek is your name? Yes. Derek, thank you very much for taking the time, and you're an example of someone who is grateful for the little things in life, and I thank you very much 
for sharing that with me. You're very welcome, Carol. You know, everyone has a story, and you never know what that story might be. Derek went on to share more about how he was part of a worship group in a church. That was before his life changed and turned around. But he, you could tell he was such a gentle spirit. And I asked Derek, I said, you know, is there something I can do that you need right now that I could help you? And I thought, you know, he's going to say, well, can you give me some money? Can you do this? Do you do that? And what he said was, and he got this big smile on his face and he said, you know, I really like Chinese food. And I asked him, I said, really? I said, is there a Chinese restaurant nearby? And he turned and he said, yes, there's one right over there in the corner of the parking lot. So we went over there and I bought Derek dinner. And let me show you just how grateful he was. Whatever you want. You want three things, smoothie, whatever you want. Just get whatever you want. Do you want you want to get a three piece combo? I do. Okay. I got actually two. Well, give me a three-piece combo if you want. Okay. As we walked outside the restaurant, I asked Eric if there was anything else I could do for him. And you know what he asked me? He said, could you play the song on my phone, How Great Is Our God by Chris Tomlin? And I said, sure, Derek, I'll do that. And do you know that as that song played, he sang every single word to it. He closed his eyes and he sang every single word to that song. And that touched me even more. You just don't know what's in a person's heart when you look and you see them walking down the street. You know, you don't know what their history is, what brought them to be where they are. But sometimes what they were in another life is still inside them. And that's what Derek showed me. And as we parted ways, he was just so grateful. And, you know, it truly, truly blessed me. And I hope it blesses you too. That leads me to the question I referred to at the beginning of this video that I want to ask. What is it you think that makes people who are in some of the most dire circumstances still be able to exude joy and still be able to be so happy over the smallest things I know people who have what most of society would say is everything that is required to be happy. They have success, they have wealth, they have beautiful surroundings, they have the ability to do what they want when they want, yet they're miserable. But here Derek has practically nothing, yet he exuded a joy that I don't see that often in people. And I certainly don't see people jumping up for joy and being so happy and excited about getting a small container of watermelon. So again, the question I'm asking you and posing to you is, what is the difference between someone who can be so happy and have so little and someone who could be so miserable and have so much? Well, we're going to address this question on my live Saturday the 4th, Saturday the 4th at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. So come on and join us, will, would you? And let's see if we can get some answers to this. I have an idea. I have a thought and I think I know the answer, but let's see. All right, I'll see you later. May your journeys be filled with joy and blessings. And stay tuned just for another few seconds so you can see Derek and how happy he was as I left him. Till next time.